A nonprofit horse rescue in Ken was damaged by today's strong winds and rain, leaving them with a lot of repairs. 12 News' Gary Burton spoke with the founder of the organization who says help came from all over. Volunteers came from all over the state to volunteer their time to Mississippi Horse Rescue. One lady drove three hours from Poplarville. It's all about the horses. In the wee hours of the night, a strong storm swept through parts of the state, mainly affecting Madison County. The founder of Mississippi Horse Rescue, Stephanie Billingsley, received a call that there was quite a bit of damage to the property. Of course, my first thought was, you know, fear for the horses that maybe they've gotten into the tent, gotten cut. But luckily, all the horses are fine. Not a one has a scratch on them. Usually, the horses are separated. But with the bad weather, almost all of them are piled into one pasture, making it very difficult to feed them. Most of these horses have been starved at one time, so they're food aggressive. So being able to feed them separately is very important. So without the extra stall space, it makes it even more difficult. Out of 40 acres of land, only 20 is being used since the recent flooding. Today's storm took off a roof, broke fences, and ruined fields, causing leaks and overall more mud, which I'm told is not great for these animals. And a few have already developed abscess hooves. But with the help that is being given, Bellingsley continues to smile. Reporting in Canton, Gary Burton, 12 News. And if you want to help by donating to the Mississippi Horse Rescue, there is a link to our website. That is WJTV.com.